If I had to guess, you probably have a photo album at your house right now. If not, you've at least handled a photo album. Too often these albums are assumed to be just collections of photographs that don't have any meaning outside the family. Because how could someone get meaning from these collection of pictures if they don't know who any of these people are? But whether you realize it or not, that album tells a story. It might be the story of you, it might be the story of one of your family, but it does tell a story. Because when you were picking photos to include in that album, and when you were choosing to exclude other photos, you were actively writing and editing your story. And because the pictures that we surround ourselves tell us so much about ourselves, we can learn from this story. My work deals with Herbert Hahn and the photo album that he produced during World War II. Hahn was a soldier who had been drafted and served in the Pacific. And along the way, he took a lot of pictures. And when he got back home from the war, he took all the pictures he had taken, all the pictures that he had gotten along the way, and all the things that he had collected, and he put them into a single album. This album tells the story of his war narrative. But my work doesn't just focus on him and just his album. I also look at topics that are related to it, including soldier photography and the collections that those photos produce. Because generally when we refer to soldier photography, we're talking about the soldiers who were assigned to media divisions, and they were expected to go out and take pictures. We aren't referring to the soldiers who just happened to have a camera and who just happened to be taking pictures. Most likely for good reason, because we don't know exactly how many people were doing it. And because of there we don't know about this, we also don't know how the collections they created were produced entirely. Because whether you believe it or not, a lot of soldiers would go out and they would take a picture, they would have maybe 12 copies produced. They would keep one for themselves, but then they would also pass it around to their friends. Soldiers in World War II were passing out photos like baseball cards, and this creates some issues with archives. Because when an archive receives a collection, they then have to attempt to determine who was the author of these photos. And when we're not entirely sure about that, because we're not sure if this was the soldier's foe themselves or if it was somebody else's, it can create some trouble. But the album is also more than this. It's not just a jumping off platform for things. It is a story. It is filling in a narrative gap. Because one of the things that often happens is when somebody dies, we lose their story. And we don't always have the fortune of recording an oral history with them or even having them write a memoir or keeping a diary. And we're left with these gaps in the historical narrative. We're left with gaps in history that can never be filled. But with these albums and these things that people produce because they were cost effective, we have their stories in an unlikely source, but we have them. Thank you.